I think it's inevitable that technology is going to play more of a role in the way that experience is mediated in the museum world. My name is Joel Furry, and I am the program director of LACMA's Art and Technology Lab. We decided to launch the Art and Tech Lab because we were inspired by LACMA's original Art and Technology program, which went from 1967 to 1971. LACMA is the largest encyclopedic art museum in the Western United States, and the lab serves as a proving ground for new technologies that the museum could implement on a much broader scale. But because we have this laboratory here where we're able to work with artists in a sort of safe space, we're able to take these risks and sort of contain them and then take what we've learned and if it makes sense, we could apply it to the entire museum. I felt that we could rebuild the idea of this multicultural museum in a way that was global and local. And whoever comes here, something of their culture is here somewhere. As I took over the responsibility for LACMA, it, it was the moment when that sort of digital revolution was becoming a social media revolution, just starting. So we create programs that we think our audiences will be interested in. Our curators do that. But of course, we get reactions. It's a very two-way street in a social media age. We put something forward, we get feedback, we adjust and think about our future programs in relation to that. That's a new thing in the art world. Usually it's talking down to you. We know what's great, we're gonna tell you. Now it's iterative design. We hear back, we're gonna think about how we might present the next thing that could take that into account. So the Art and Technology Lab is not really a place, but a concept. The idea is, can you help pair artists with technologists, scientists, to create something new? The technology is not the point of the art, but the art itself is some expression, emotion, or perspective, what have you, is the thing that is the point of that piece of work. And so I think there's a kind of beautiful relationship there where it's not art versus technology, it's really this combination of the two making something together. I do think that you can reach a broader audience when you're working with technology. I think if you do it right, you can leverage it to reach a broad audience and still have a lot of artistic integrity in the work. The idea of art and technology is that you pair with that tool. The idea of art, which is human creativity, thinking, reflection, self-identity. So I think that, that you have two kinds of problem solvings, two kinds of progress, and art is our humanity. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.